Good evening and welcome to Mum, McLoon on Maui. Kia ora people and uh, welcome to uh, another Monday night conference. Today we're up to seminar number 16. The date is June the 13th, 2011. Let's get going. So we're talking about art form is programming the environment. So the word making the market to the degree that um, there are elites programming that word, you get a clue of that in an article may have been written with Bruce Powell uh, in the late 70s where um, McLuhan says only the elite everybody participates in the information environment except for the elites have the advantage of programming the larger pattern of a speed of light data society see he says that the elites program the larger pattern that's defining the eschatological level of where the society is going why we're going into Iraq the, the broadest de definition of uh, what society is about and what an enterprise is about, that's the job of the White House. And that's a programmed environment, McLuhan says. So he, he says that only the elite who program those general patterns are the only ones removed from the general making that goes on every day, 24-7, in the information society of global pattern recognition. So they're the ivory tower. There's um, something that I think uh, also relates back to um, Scott's earlier question about uh, stratagems and uh, McLuhan, why he's so obscurant. I remember a, um, uh, an anecdote you recounted of how um, Eric McLuhan was telling you um, the source of one of McLuhan's uh, probes in seeing a uh, police traffic conductor standing at the midst of a, um, a roundabout or something directing traffic. In that yeah. same sort of sense that uh, espionage is art form, that's uh, in its most basic. You'd get that walking down Law Street in the 70s, just looking at some uh, um, in a bookshop and seeing how um, the James Bond type novels became exceptionally popular at that time. Yes. In, in, in a really basic sense, the espionage was, was the flavor of the month. The Bourne yeah. identity, um, the, the day of the jackal. Um, it's That's right, and the James Bond started that, and uh, the James Bond series. So you have... Um, it was written by, I forget, but I think the guy who authored James Bond was uh, an agent. Yeah, Ian Fleming. Yeah, Ian Fleming was a, was a involved in intelligence, just like Graham Greene was. Uh, John would you assign Ian Fleming the role of Tetrad manager because he was uh, uh, hitting on a meme that would grow and uh, take root? And you know, yeah, he was time. part of the, he was part of the Tetrad management world. I mean, that's the point. That's why McLuhan was a threat. He was exposing the detached position in relation to information and culture of the Tetrad manager. So uh, when he he, has, it's not, he says espionage becomes an art form. Now, the story Andrew's citing, I think, is that I once asked Barry Nevitt what, what it means in Take the Day that the police state becomes an art form. And I said, what's the police state? And he says, oh, a cop directing traffic. Okay, so there's a plebeian or trivial meaning for police state coming in art form. But, it, but that's what we call the bottom up. There is the top down where Marshall says in Gutenberg Galaxy, the big, bro big brother goes inside and becomes invisible. Well, espionage, this statement, espionage becomes an art form. You juxtapose uh, that with a statement in Cliché Archetype. Espionage is our daily activity. So you have the bottom-up thing of everybody's engaged in these collective art forms, in the making of information. But there's always the holdover from the 19th century hierarchies, which are another level of art form, a more uh, kinetic or manipulatory or not what we call art. Right? Well, they're the... They've become the medium which the new art form, the new medium, is beginning to now have an effect upon. Yeah, if, they, if you mean by medium, the past environment, yeah, Big Brother is the past environment. The past environment is the environment we're established in. It's the water we're swimming in.